Hello everybody, Glass Half Dead here and today I want to talk to you about Warhammer 40k Kill Team and specifically of course the LVO preview that we just had. You're seeing it behind me now because I screen capped it. That's why you can see Twitch chat in the right corner. Uh, what we have here is the reveals from LVO for Kill Team and it's... um. Okay, so it's the Corsair, right? It's the Corsair and they also officially confirmed that it's going to be called the Nakmund kill team nakmund natchmund it must be nakmund right the nakmund kill zone we know it's corsairs and this model here that's the entire reveal so i don't have anything else to say and it's a bit like oh okay well right it's a cool model it looks like it's on either a 28 mil or a 32 mil Definitely not a 25. It has a bird. Oh man, I've got to do 8 minutes of this. Guys, if you're subscribed to my channel, I'd like to give you a big double hello. Wow, so overhyped, leaked reveal trailer for LVO. If you want more of that in the next video, like, subscribe, leave a comment right now. Okay, so instead for the rest of this video, I mean, that's, that's it. Uh, for the rest of this video, I'm going to talk about uh, what we think the Nackmund kill team uh, kill zone is going to be. So obviously, this is all based on rumor. We now have the Corsairs confirmed. We oh, we have the Corsairs data sheet from 40k leaked because oh my god, guys, the leaks in 40k right now are nuts. Like. They ha they've had the, like, they've had so much of the Eldar Codex, full-blown leaked. That is somebody from inside GW, because there are no watermarks all over that, like, like a playtester would have. That's just straight up GW employee leaking stuff. Which then kind of makes it a bit weird that it's blurry. Why wouldn't they have access to the, the real thing? But whatever, who cares? But we have seen the Corsair datasheet. And the Corsair datasheet shows some interesting options. One of which is like, it's called a Wraith. It's not a Wraith cannon. It's like a, a ghost Wraith thing. But there's a big cannon option, which is pretty cool. Oh, this is the artwork. Uh, I think the artwork looks really cool, actually. I'm, I'm happy with that being the official Nackmund artwork. Yeah. We've had a Krieg for Octaris, we had a Pathfinder for Chownath, and now we've got a Corsair Boy for Dachmund. Nice. Oh, they gave him a Mohawk. Mm, it's, it's one option, I guess. Anyway, so when it comes to the Corsair kill team, I guess we're expecting 10 guys again, and from what we've heard, we're expecting, like, a Warlock leader and a Ranger. I think, I don't quite know how, why there's a ranger in there. Um, like, I, I assume, I'm assuming that this Corsair kill team is going to be as close to an underworld kill team as 40k is going to get. They're all going to be very unique models. Like, again, this is written speculation based on rumor i guess so they're all going to be very unique models and although yes they will be able to be used in 40k it's not like a spammable unit it might even be and i'm going to throw this out there it might even be like a i'm going to use the term character unit what i just mean is a named unit so you could only take one of them because they do seem very unique from what we know uh, or maybe it's just no you just have a warlock leader that's it stop being weird about it it's just a mixed arm mixed arms unit you can take it if you want uh, but then let's talk about the other side of the knackman kill team box what is it so uh in the stream all they said was and then there's the other side of the knackman box which we'll talk about another day that was it. That so they they've literally told us nothing. 
in addition to what we already know. So what we do know is there was a piece of artwork that turned up in the Kill Team Core book, which had what we have now seen is the Corsair Kill Team on. Then on Facebook, GW posted the full like uh, size of that artwork instead of a clipped down portion. And so on the left hand side, you have the Corsairs. On the right hand side, you had a dark, chaos y looking human, which we assume to be chaos cultists because we also know from the rumors that have been like 100% accurate so far from the rumors we we believe that chaos are going to get a new uh, cultist kit which makes a lot of sense because right now you, it's kind of really hard to buy cultists um the only ones you could get are the black Stone fortress ones and they're not good they're not like and they're, they're weird one of them's on a 32 mil base whilst the other ones are on 25s it's like what's going on here and they're like eight i don't know uh, so we assume it's going to be Chaos Cultists. And that's kind of... Uh, fine, I guess. You know, I mean, hopefully they'd be cool. Hopefully it'll be you can apply like a Mark of Chaos to X and then... You can, you know, spend your CPs to activate a Mark of Chaos for that round. Something like that. I don't know, you know, whatever. Uh, but we have nothing else to go on apart, apart from that one piece of artwork. Which, if we're lucky, I've put on screen here so that you know what I'm talking about. If not, fair enough. But yeah. Okay. I know what you're thinking, guys. Glass, this has been a really disappointing video. You haven't really said anything what are you doing and that was actually intentional i did that to simulate my feelings when i watched the lvo reveal so i hope that's i hope that's been good for you anyway guys this big glass half dead <laughs> look when there's news there's views okay this was such a bad reveal oh my gosh <laughs> I really hope I can clickbait this this video so that people actually watch it. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway, guys, this has been Glass Up Dead. Uh, thanks for watching. Oh, if you're ready to the end of the video, I'd like to give you a big triple hello. Wow. Wasn't that exciting? I hope you've had a good day. Continue to have a good day. Hopefully, I will see you again soon when we have something to actually talk about. Goodbye.